Hello friends, welcome to Informatica tutorial. Today we are going to see what is lookup transformation in Informatica and how one can use source or target table as a lookup table and how can we specify lookup condition in lookup transformation. So let's start here. What I am going to do is I am just pulling department name from department table by passing department id column from employee table so here is my table employee LKP employee having department id and this department id is passing to this department id and just pulling department name from LKP department table as here I am using LKP underscore DB table as a lookup table and this is my target table so just go to mapping designer and just click create I have created MP underscore lookup example I'm just pulling the sources just now as I have shown you so this is my table LKP EMP right and this is my source and LKP underscore target is my target like this I have clicked for you so <coughs> now go to transformation and create a lookup transformation here go to transformation click on create and give name as LKP lookup LKP underscore TPT click on create the thing with selecting lookup table as there are source lookup table or target lookup table here are the tabs this is source lookup table tab and this target table lookup as my table is from source I'm clicking source and selecting table LKP underscore DEPT just click this and click ok like this look up LKP underscore DEPT click it and select source LKP underscore DEPT LKP DEPT click done so what I'm going to do I'm passing DEPT ID this to the table this just click this and drag once I drag we have to rename this by sake of TVMX and I am just using this port as an input so I am checking this and I am checking this as I am not going to use as output port go to condition and click new condition so here dpt table from department is joining with input port that is dpt click on apply ok so what you can do you can pull the employee id and employee name directly to the target like this and dpt name and dpt id from dpt table like this once clicking you can save the mapping just click ctrl s so it will save the mapping and validate the mapping here you can see mapping has been validated and updated so click this then go to workflow manager to create a session for this i have already created workflow wf lookup test and created this session s under k mp lookup example i'm just validating this my mapping and session get validated here 
in mapping that you can go to connection and provide your connection value over here you said that file then you can select that multiple data is not present here like this click apply press k control it so i'm going to run this and start work right click start workflow so here is workflow monitor and the session is running from work with this so here five rows are get succeeded so you can see the session log for this and one can observe that lookup transformation is created and for this lookup cache is also created Here you can see lookup cache is created and the data is also taken to target like this. You can see. created new cache files. Here you can also that a cache file is created into the Informatica server repository on location this where your Informatica server is located and same cache file is got deleted after the run here you can see deleting cache file this for Informatica lookup table this lcp underscore dp So we can look for the data. Here, DP table how this much of record. And enter table how this much. Let's check my target table. So here we can observe that department ID is full for the employee. Thanks for watching. Keep watching.